the why did you take the vaccine? Well, I took it fairly early on. I took Moderna because that's what the National Guard was deploying in my very rural county in uh, basically central northern Virginia. Isn't there some evidence that the vaccine actually helps people with long COVID? That was the um, that was the rumor at the time. That was then that was I took it for two reasons. I had long COVID. It was supposed to help with that. And I knew I was going to have to travel internationally to France um, and Portugal in the near future. Now, is there any evidence that the vaccine helps against long COVID? Or is yeah. there, <clears throat> anecdotally, is there anything? Uh, anecdotally, there was. And I have not seen a peer-reviewed solid publication or, or um, preprint that supports that now. But that was the active rumor at the time. And since then, what we do know for sure, well-documented. If you've got prior COVID and natural immunity, you you have a higher risk of adverse events from the jab. Now, the other part of my story that often gets overlooked, so I took two doses of Moderna. With the second dose, I developed stage three hypertension with systolic blood pressure of up to 230. Okay, I'm lucky to be alive. You know, what it means is I've had a stress test of my aorta and my cerebral vascular system, and I didn't have a stroke, and I didn't tear my aorta all to shreds. But it's a good thing. I had, I had irregularities of heartbeat, incredible hypertension, POTS syndrome, narcolepsy, restless leg syndrome. These are all known side effects that are associated with the vaccine. They're relatively less frequent than the myocarditis in the children, in male children in particular, but they're all known on the list of adverse events. And it's very clear that people that have natural immunity have a much higher risk factor um, for this whole spectrum of adverse events but even, if they get jabbed. Even though that's known. 